Alright, so I just got to my Airbnb in Old Havana and <sighs> there's no Wi-Fi. Mm. But maybe that's a good thing. Um, my first impressions of the city are it's really mellow. It seems pretty safe. Um, everybody's super nice. And from what I could see at night going in my taxi to my Airbnb, it's super colorful. So I'm excited to experience the culture and the food and the drinks and the salsa dancing and everything this town has to offer. So stay tuned. Um, day one, exploring Old Havana. Joe made it this morning with four hours of sleep. She took a red eye. And we're just walking around trying to find some Wi-Fi cards. So we wandered 50 feet from our little Airbnb, <laughs> made it real far, and we are in Plaza de Catedral. I'm probably pronouncing everything wrong, um, but it's really pretty, very touristy. And we are <laughs> making our way to the Wi-Fi card still. So that painting back there, apparently it took five years to make it. We just heard from some random person on the street. We might um, have to follow a tour guide. And just <laughs> right? Just like hang back. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the baller on the budget That's way. That's right. <laughs> That's right, girl. You don't need money to travel. You just got to be sort of street smart. to where supposedly there's Wi-Fi cards in the Hotel Ambos Mundos. <laughs> We're trying to find the Museum of the Revolution and we have Walked out of the touristy areas oh, and shit. are now Since getting cat called everywhere. Leftish. Especially Joe, she's a hot commodity here. <laughs> Me, not so much. <laughs> they don't want no white girl. <laughs> we made it to the Museum of the Revolution. Stopped in to restaurant Don Ricardo because they told us there's Wi-Fi here and mojitos. So I just already went through a whole Wi-Fi card. They go really fast. I need to buy more. All right, we have left our apartment once again on our way to dinner at um, Lemparia Tapas y Cervezas. Yes. And out of that, I know cerveza. <laughs> So I got the suckling pig and Joe got the shredded beef and we're going to share them and then we got rum and different flavors of juice mixed together because aww, and they have little records as the, what are these called? Toasters. We are headed to, well, we are at Hotel Amamundo, climbing a shitload of stairs. <laughs> what is this, floor seven? 
five, oh, it seems like seven, to get to the patio on the rooftop <laughs> where we will proceed to have more rum. Oh, I think we're here. See. Is that music or a screaming baby? Oh. All right, day two. I'm we are, <laughs> she's really amped. She hasn't had coffee. We're going to leave and find breakfast. Yesterday we had um, the lady that runs the Airbnb come and make us breakfast for five pesos. pesos. And then we discovered some breakfast spots. So we're going to go there today and then hopefully they'll call us a taxi and we will go to the beach in Trinidad and some other places that are farther away that we did not explore yet. So. <sighs> We have left the humble abode, and by humble, we mean real humble. <laughs> Say hi, Joe. Oh, hi. Down this way. We already know our way through the streets. So exciting. Everything's so colorful here. on a very American cafe called Cafe del Angel. I'm hip. <laughs> um, yeah. Looks cute though. We got two Irish coffees to get our buzz on before we get to the beach. All right, so we found a classic car. Can't see it yet. And they're taking us to the beach, and then to Trinidad, and then back to Havana later today. All for 200, which I don't know if we got bamboozled, but it seems like a good deal. We have made it to the beach. Water is beautiful. in the water but I gotta say iPhone is doing a great job it's dunked a few times and it's obviously still, still working. working yeah for all you ladies I'm wearing same swim and then Sunny's by Rayan we just left the beach in Playa, Playa Larga Playa Larga Playa Giron Playa Giron good good uh, buceo, but it's not good. A snorkel. A snorkel. Uh, Get it, Joe. Get it. You're the one with the rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> just got back to our Airbnb. We did not make it to Trinidad because we just found out that Trinidad was like 
eight hours away. So yeah, we're, we ended up going to the beach and to Playa Larga, which apparently is the only place you can eat crocodile. Um, it's in the middle of nowhere. So I suggest that if you want to go to Trinidad, which I heard was really cool, very colonial, that you go for the day and maybe plan to spend the night, a couple days maybe. Um, but yeah, no go on the Trinidad, but we did have fun at the beach. The beach was beautiful. And tomorrow is our last full day here, so we're gonna make it count. We're gonna go to um, an art show and um, a jazz bar that we heard about from the locals. So all very fun and I will take you guys with me. Okay, day three in Havana, Cuba. We are just finishing up breakfast and they just started the live music. We got our hour of Wi-Fi and now we're going to go explore again. <laughs> what do you want to do today, Joe? <laughs> School's out, guys. School's out. Day. We have eaten breakfast and now we are on our way to find a bakery because I really want flan. She really wants flan. She's been talking about flan all day for the last four days. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go find flan. Um, and we wanted to stop here because it's such a cute little area. This is where the taxis kind of come and hang out and hopefully somebody picks them up. So I think officially we are now in the residential part of Havana. Do you think this is Havana Central or Havana West? I feel like it's Central. Um, and we are still looking for that bakery. So we found the water. Oh yeah. And it's so much nicer out here because it was hot as balls where we were like 10 minutes that way. Um, we saw a pretty sculpture so we're gonna go check it out and photograph. How cool is that? We finally got to LaGuardia, our destination. So pretty. Check it. The staircase. So we've literally had to go in an abandoned building, up a staircase, ended up in a bunch of sheets. I'm assuming there was a laundry service. Now we're going up a windy ass staircase, hoping to find this restaurant. Oh, I think we did. Pretty. of us being here and it's also our last full day and so we wanted she would really want a flan we've been talking about getting some flan or at least some sweets or something and we walked to Havana Central 
to um, discover this area and it's very pretty we're by the water as you can see lots of fishermen however there seems to be a lot more food so shortage in Havana Central than it is in Old Havana which is a lot more touristy so now we are seeing what people were talking about when they said bring lots of snacks and although we have snacks we just really want a mojito too but we can't seem to find even a bar that will give us one so we are walking in circles heading back to a hotel we saw back that way that everybody that was local said is shit, but we're hoping that they have at least drinks. So, because we're tired and I think we've walked quite, quite the miles today. <laughs> um, what else, what else? Yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. <laughs> Bring snacks is correct. They have no sweets here. The drinks are awesome, music's awesome. Hot as balls. Hello. We are on our roof deck. <laughs> Trying to get some Wi-Fi. This is what the cards look like. I secretly think it's a scheme because it kicks you off, but then you can't really log off. Excuse this pimple, I just popped it. But um, it kicks you off and then, but it doesn't like log you off. So like the hour keeps going because you only get one hour on these. And that's the, you know, you get the Wi-Fi and then that's like the ID and the password. It's time to pee. It's time to pee, she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then it freaking kicks you off and then you're like stuck wasting your hour because you can't log off. So you have to forget the network. It's so important when you use these cards, if you're in Cuba, forget the network every time you want to log off so you save your hour. But they go so fast, girl. Poor boy, they go so fast. All right, last night we went to FAC, uh, Fabrica de Arta, and it's pretty much like a giant warehouse of art everywhere. Really cool. We're doing tango lessons. table because we don't have a reservation um, but we want to eat here because we heard it's amazing so hopefully we get seated fast before our driver comes at 11. Oh. Joe! <laughs> All right guys so this is our last hour here in Old Havana and we're waiting on our taxi that we arranged with the taxi guy from last night and all in all we really liked our trip to short as it was before I'm lovely it's very loud and lively and the music is amazing and the drinks are amazing the food sometimes is amazing <laughs> they have food shortages so you know but all in all a great trip and so we're gonna say bye to our little Airbnb and she's gonna head to New Orleans I'm gonna head back home to my cat 